Hi, my name is Jason Schwartzman, and I would like to uh, talk about some movies and why I'd like to remove them from the shelf and put them in this bag. May I begin? Well, so here. Um, Killers. The version that I'm familiar with is the Don Siegel version. There's a movie that I just made called um, Asteroid City. And uh, without getting, wasting your time, an aspect of it has to do with acting and the things actors do and sometimes overdo. One of the things that um, was, a, was like Wes had suggested I look at is Clue Gallagher's performance in this film. I watched it so many times and needed it so much as a reference that I ended up just filming my television, which I shouldn't say, so that I had it on my phone at all times. Like, he'll just do some stuff like this, and then he'll just destroy something! And it's like, okay, how, how early, how many seconds ago was he prepping that move? You know what I mean? Um, he's just, he's great in it. I like the making of things. I like to see how people communicate and express ideas that are sort of hard to explain what they're after or what they want and people trying to understand what someone else is trying to get at and two big 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 uh, examples of that not only do i love these movies but this is under the volcano um and this is straw dogs on top of under the volcano is great to watch john houston watching the actors, seeing the shot, the way he talks to the actors, the way everyone is listening to each other, the way he's responding. Uh, you know, someone who's, you know, made these masterpieces. And then while everything's happening, he's just sit, he, he can just like sit there and read a paper and I go, that's because he knows what the F he's doing. Straw Dogs, the takeaways I take from watching this are silly. But one, that Dustin Hoffman, you see him shaving with an electric razor in his trailer. It looks like the kind of thing that would just eat your neck up. Um, but he's, he's talking about the movie, and I'm a mathematician. But, but the thing that I found really, um, uh, that, I, that stays with me is this, uh, I guess it has to do also with Under the Volcano, like John Houston reading the paper. It's sort of what people do, how they budget their focus and energy over the course of a shoot and what they do between takes. And um, Sam Peckinpah doesn't read the newspaper. He has a, a knife that he, it's a pretty big knife and he, um, he throws it at this door that's like a broken door piece of wood leaning against his house. <laughs> Until they're ready to shoot. I've never been around a knife throwing director. Don't know how I'd feel about it. And I guess in that case, I'd be more afraid of the razor. Shaving one. An Unmarried Woman, Jill Kleber, I think is just one of the greatest um, uh, actors of all time. Wonderful, beautiful um, performance. I don't know, she's like showing you a maze, but without solving it for you. When my, my um, wife and I first started dating, I think we were dating. I don't know if, she, if in my mind, that's when it started, but anyway, doesn't matter if you didn't know we were dating. I was dating you. We were dating. And around this time, we were, we were giving each other music and movies and things, and my wife gave me this. Looking back, when it's someone that you love and have a family with, it's amazing that they gave you this thing because it's saying like, here's me, but I don't know why. I can't, here's things I, I can't say. I like, it's a way to invite someone to know you in a way that you can't really articulate. So I love this because of Jill Clayburgh and um, also just the uh, special uh, place it holds in my heart. Um, as I talk about my wife, holding the movie, An Unmarried Woman. So this movie right here is The Red Shoes. 
No movie reminds me of my life more than The Red Shoes. And what I mean by that is, this was my mo this is my mother's favorite movie ever made. It was the first time that I saw like that a movie could be nutritional value to someone. If that makes sense. Like it was more than a movie. Um, what she got from it was, I don't know what it was, but as a little kid, I, I remember thinking like, that's not happening at, uh, I don't see that at a lot of other kids' houses. And the bad sleep well. I love the way information gets dispersed in this movie through p people giving speeches, but then other people walking, like whispering things at people not wanting to disturb the, um, the event. So um, this is for my mom, um, and um, this is for all the banquets. We, we're going to go, but I just want to say these are the two things I, I have not seen that I'm pumped about. We got Local Hero. Um, and this is the, um, the, the Pasolini collection. I just think this is a beautiful, look at this, the care and work that goes into this. This is what this is, this place is all about. Yeah, just thanks. 